Have you ever wanted to share your faith, but you had no idea where to begin? You didn't know what to say, how to approach them, what to do? Well, today, I'm going to share with you four tips that can change all of that for you and make it so you can be used by God to be a powerhouse in sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tip number one, know your audience. Okay, that might sound simple. Know your audience. But no, really. You see, even in the book of Acts, we see uh, the apostles, as they began to share the good news of Jesus Christ, have to use different approaches because there was no one size fits all. We see in the book of Acts in chapter 2, the apostle Peter, on the day of Pentecost, is sharing the good news with the people right there in Jerusalem. Well, what did they have in common? Well, they all had a biblical worldview. They knew the Old Testament. They knew the prophecies. They knew the prophets, major and minor. They understood the account of creation in Genesis. All these things were established with them. So he was able to use examples from the Old Testament that they would understand. And this way they could see how Jesus was the fulfillment of all these things as they were saying. Now contrast the Apostle Paul with Apostle Peter, and we see the Apostle Paul in Acts 17 has a whole different approach. He doesn't even start with the Bible. He's quoting poets and pointing to statues and saying, here, there's an unknown God here, let me declare him. He was able to take things that the people understood there, the pagan people who did not have a biblical foundation, and he was able to bring them to a place where he could share the gospel. So his approach, while having the same end game, was very different at the start. So the first point is know your audience. It's important to know who you're speaking with. Are they more like the Jews and God-fearing people in Jerusalem that Peter spoke to? Or are they more like the pagans on Mars Hill that the Apostle Paul spoke to? You're gonna to have to decide who your audience is. It's not good enough to just spout out Bible verses at somebody because they may not even regard the Bible as anything other than a piece of literature. And the first point leads into the second point, which is be a good listener. It's very important to be a good listener. You don't want to just come up to someone and start talking, talking, talking. You want to be a good listener. You want to let them share. Maybe you don't even start talking about God. You just come up and begin to dialogue with them and you allow them to talk about their day or whatever's on their mind, and you let them lead the conversation for a while and just be a good listener. This is important because you can't really minister very good unless you understand where someone's coming from. And that's why listening is so important. The third point is ask questions. It's great to ask questions. People love to give answers. You just come up with somebody and you're talking with them. Hey, how's your day going? Anything important going on in your life? How are you feeling? Simple things, icebreakers. And allow them to open up to you because then they feel more at ease because you're just not coming up to them and hitting them upside the head with a Bible. Asking questions does a couple different things. First of all, it gains you a sense of relationship building. And second of all, as the dialogue progresses, it gives you a chance to help them to begin to question themselves when you ask them questions. When you ask questions about what you think about God, what do you think about the Bible or religion in general, it allows them to begin to express themselves. This helps them to understand what they're thinking because many people haven't really thought through what they think. Some have, but many have not. And this leads into our fourth and final point. Don't talk too much. I made the mistake one time of sharing the gospel with some lady and I spoke what should have been a few minutes long ended up being a half hour long and as she was trying to edge out the door she finally cut me off and said you know for the first five minutes what you were saying was ministering to me but after that you just wouldn't shut up don't be that guy know when to stop you don't have to give everybody the entire Bible and history and hit every major point on every theology there is out there just to be able to set that spark that will cause the blaze later on, to plant that seed that will grow later. Sometimes less is more. So don't be afraid to share, 
but be careful that you don't share too much. Before we end this video, I want to give you a fifth tip, one that is probably more important than all the rest put together, and that is be a person who's a seeker after God. Make sure you're reading your Bible. Make sure you're spending time with your own relationship with the Lord in prayer. It's out of that abundance of your walking with God and knowing Him and knowing His Word that the other tips really come into play. If you don't know your Bible, if you're not seeking God, then you're going to have a lot of struggles trying to reach out to other people because it's God who gives us what to say. He's the one who brings scriptures to our remembrance when we need to. And so that's why it's important to have that strong relationship with the Lord and that strong relationship with the Word of God. So I encourage you, make that the better part of these tips and you'll find that the other things begin to fall into place because it's God who works in us both the will and to do his good pleasure. Thank you for watching. It's Pastor Kevin and for Kevin Shares. God bless.